Hello, my name is Nizar Masoudi and I'm the product manager for the PNA family in Keysight. I'm excited to be here at IMS back in person and today I'm going to be showcasing three new features in the PNA X that we're excited to show you. So the first is our new modulated internal sources. So what you can see on the PNA is with this light on, that's saying that I'm using the internal source to generate the signal that you're seeing here. And you can see it's a wideband modulated signal. So uh, we're generating over 400 megahertz of bandwidth. The source is capable of doing up to six gigahertz of bandwidth below six gigs. And we can see we're testing a power amplifier and we're measuring the input and output signals and showing the distortion and the EVM characteristic. What's recently been added is the ability to do digital pre-distortion. This is a key feature to show off amplifier performance. And so we're able to do this directly on the PNAX without any other uh, hardware. So we can do this just simply by going into our modulation setup under modulate, and we can click on create DPD. Now I've already done this, so I'm just gonna load the file. I'll recall that and apply it quickly. And we can see here what's going on is that our output spectra uh, for the output is uh, much better and our input shows the pre-distortion that's required to correct for the um, non-linearity of the power amplifier. And now, another feature that we've added is the ability to, to look at the signal in the time domain using our VSA Pathwave signal analysis. So now I'm demodulating the 16 qualm signal. I'm able to show the input and output EVM. And so we can see here that top trace is the output EVM. So we've improved the output by distorting that input. And we're able to do this all seamlessly on the PNAX. Uh, if we need to go to millimeter wave frequencies, we also have the VXG so that we can get to higher frequencies uh, for amplifiers in FR2 for 5G. So as you can see, we're showing these EVM numbers and you can see that uh, we're able to do this seamlessly. So if you're interested in learning more about this measurement um, and learning more about measuring power amplifiers, you can check out all our resources at keysight.com.